All right, I'm gonna show you how to make a color wheel that's in the shape of an eye. So you're gonna have to start with a piece of white paper. If it has lines, that's okay. You'll need a pencil, and I have the primary color crayons, red, yellow, blue, and I have a black crayon just to outline and make things stand out. So we're gonna start off by drawing the circle for the color wheel. And just do your best to make a circle. I always draw light till I get it right, so that if I need to erase, it'll erase completely. So I'm gonna erase a little bit right there. Now I'm gonna draw the shape of the eye. Which is like a football shape. I like to add the little, like the tear duct over here. I'll save the eyelashes for later. Now I'm gonna find the center of the eye. So I'm not gonna use a ruler. An easy way to kind of estimate or guess where the, the center is is by putting your fingers on either side and then running your fingers together. So if I run my fingers together, this looks like about the center. I could do the same thing from top to bottom. That looks pretty good. Let me darken this up a little bit so you can see it better. Then you're gonna take and put 12 dots around the outside of that circle. So I'm gonna do, it doesn't matter where you start, just try to space them evenly. If they're not perfect, that's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, so I should be about halfway around, which I am, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That looks pretty close. Now I'm gonna just lightly draw a line from each dot to that center dot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Notice some of them are smaller and that's okay. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. All right, now, I'm gonna be coloring this, like the color wheel, but the center of it, I'm gonna make the pupil of the eye. So this is gonna be black in the center. I can erase these lines if I wanted to, or I'm gonna color over it black, so you probably won't be able to see them. If you want to, you could label like an R right here for red, and then we're gonna be doing the primary, the secondary, and the intermediate colors. So this next one would be red, orange. So I'm gonna put RO. This one will be orange. This one will be yellow, orange. So YO. This one will be yellow, yellow, green, green, blue, green, blue, blue, violet, violet, and red, violet. And violet is the same as purple. All right, now I can start coloring. So I'm gonna do, I'll start with the red. This one's gonna be red. If you want to erase that R right before you color, just in case you can see it, you can do that. Now when I'm making red-orange, it's gonna be a little bit darker than the, the orange, a little bit more red. I'm gonna put some yellow on my orange first. Let me erase that. Oh, I'm gonna erase this too. So this one's gonna be orange. Same thing, I could always do another layer of yellow to make it lighter. I think I'm gonna do a little bit more red too though. All right, now I'm gonna do my red orange. So I'm gonna press a little bit harder with that red crayon to just make a little bit more of that red, cover up the yellow. So that looks like a red orange. This might be a little bit too light. Let me make that a little bit more orange. And then yellow orange.
Now I'm going to use my black crayon to color in the pupil. And I'm going to leave a little reflection because when the light hits your eye, there's a, a white little a white mark where the, the light is reflecting. And I'm coloring this in nice and dark. Then I'm just going to trace the eye with the black crayon. And then I can add those eyelashes. I like to start at the eye and kind of curve out. And then I curve the opposite direction on the bottom. And usually your eyelashes on the bottom are shorter. And then I could trace around my color wheel. And then I finished, I have a color wheel with the primary red, yellow, blue, the secondary orange, green, and purple, and the intermediate colors all in between the primary and secondary. Have fun.